a warm uh, good afternoon to my dear students so today we will see one more topic on uh, engineering mechanics the topic what we are going to see in this lecture is uh, equilibrium so what is equilibrium equilibrium is nothing but uh, a balanced condition uh, for a body or a system to be in equilibrium there should not be any unbalanced force existing within the body so for a body to reach this equilibrium condition the resultant of all the forces acting on the body should be equal to zero so the sigma fx should be equal to zero sigma fi will be equal to zero and uh, the moment of the forces acting at a particular point should also be equal to zero so these are the three conditions of equilibrium if these three conditions are satisfied then the body is said to be in equilibrium and using this equilibrium conditions we can determine the unknown forces acting on the body so we'll see this with a case example now in the figure you can see a beam ab is supported by pins a and c so another a vertical force of 4 kN is applied at point b and you have to find the support reactions at a and c now i am drawing the free body diagram of the beam so this support at uh, a offers two reactions that is ax and ay another a vertical force is applied at point b 4 kN that is represented in the diagram and uh, force exerted by the pin at point c it is fc acting at an angle of 45 degrees now i am applying the conditions of equilibrium the first time applying uh, moment about point a is equal to zero so when you take moment about point a uh, the moment offered by these two support reactions ax and ay will be equal to zero since moment is nothing but force into distance so since the moment is taken at the point where the uh, reaction forces are applied naturally the distance d is going to be equal to zero so moment offered by ax and ay will be equal to zero next time taking moment of uh, the force fc about point a now this force will produce an anti clockwise moment uh, and if you resolve it fc cos uh, sorry fc sin 45 into the distance is 1.5 meters then moment offered by the 4 kN force so 4 into the total distance is 3 meters it is a clockwise moment so you put a minus sign here and we equating it to zero we get the unknown force fc as 11.3 kN next time applying uh, the equation sigma fx is equal to 0 so i am resolving all the forces horizontally i get ax resolving this uh, fc force so 11.3 into cos 45 equal to 0 solving this i get the reaction force ax similarly sigma fy so if i resolve sigma fy uh, i will get uh, ay plus fc sin 45 so it is positive since it is acting upwards minus 4 since it is vertically acting downwards now by solving this i get the value of ay is minus 4 kN so now by using the equilibrium conditions we are able to find the reactions at a and reactions at c so this equilibrium condition can be widely applied to find the unknown reactions in any system or body